These are the rarest pickaxes to exist in Fortnite. And there's actually one pickaxe hardly anybody owns. And no, I'm not talking about the FNCS pickaxe. Although this is one of the rarest pickaxes in the game, it's not available to the public and only FNCS winners can have it. But follow along to see how many you own in this video because it's pretty impressive if you have a few of them. First up, we have the crowbar from Chapter 1 Season 5. This released for the high stakes game mode and you had to complete challenges in order to unlock it. It's definitely not as rare as other ones coming up, but it's worth the mention as it's so iconic within Fortnite and it's cool to own as well. I also feel like I have to include the Merry Mint because everyone knows about this pickaxe. But again, it's not as rare as some coming up because this released in Chapter 2 Season 1, which was one of the most popular seasons in the game as it was a whole new chapter with a new map and gameplay. There was also so many codes made for the axe and some people was handing them out for free. So it's not as rare as people think, but it's great to have in the locker. Now we have the Aquariax, which is actually pretty rare. The way to get this was by playing 50 games to earn 50 points in the best frenzy event back in Chapter 2 Season 7. It's Slurp Legends Rarity, which is actually kind of cool because there's not many Slurp pickaxes in the game. Plus, there probably wasn't many people actually doing this event as you had to sign up to a website, but this might be one of the best free pickaxes in Fortnite. Like, it's so clean. Then we have the Dazzle Daggers. In order to get these, you had to play Fortnite on either a mobile or desktop using xbox cloud gaming via a browser now although they was free they was only available for a limited time and of course not many people did this anyway as they play on console or pc i never really see anyone using them or talking about them they're not too bad but i'll definitely consider them a little bit rare then there's the entire chapter one season two battle pass pickaxes they're definitely worth a mention i mean we got the pulse axe the axe caliber which is the black knight pickaxe and then the rarest one in the battle pass acdc for reaching tier 63 but remember there was only 70 tiers in that battle pass compared to some of the pickaxes coming up they aren't that rare but they're definitely og as they're from season two now we have one of the rarest pickaxes in the game the raiders revenge we all know how rare this is i mean it's the renegade raiders pickaxe but the reason it's so rare is because the player count in season one compared to now was a lot lower plus the pickaxe was actually 1500 v books which was more expensive than the skin and you had to reach a high level to even purchase the pickaxe too just imagine if fortnite actually brought this back by mistake or not even by mistake but they just sold it again in the shop that would be crazy drop a like if you would actually buy it i know so many people would but this is arguably the rarest pickaxe to exist in the game if we don't include the fncs one we then have a nintendo switch exclusive pickaxe and i'm not talking about the fleet force wildcat one i'm talking about the pinpoint. This is the double helix pickaxe. The only way to get it was by buying a double helix Nintendo Switch when they was available or by buying a code for the bundle. But codes for this bundle literally sell for thousands. So it's actually a super expensive pickaxe to get. I mean, it's almost impossible to get, to be honest. It's so hard to find a code, which is why it's in this video. Super rare pickaxe. I did actually have a box for this Switch, but I kind of destroyed it. Maybe I shouldn't have. The Frozen X from Chapter 1 Season 7 isn't from a frozen pack although it may seem like it is but this was actually a part of the challenges back in chapter one season seven so anyone who started playing after that season doesn't have this pickaxe and it matches with the frozen red knight there is then the octane wampert i have spoke about this before but it's really cool because you had to complete rocket league challenges in order to get this but it was on rocket league mobile so it wasn't even the pc version the dark razor is very rare because in order to get this you had to buy the console for the dark vertex skin or buy a code for it but they're super expensive so not everyone has this pretty rare you could have bought a controller to get the skin as well but that wouldn't have came with the glider or pickaxe and this is clean too the lucky lance now although it's from chapter three it was a part of a bunch of challenges so again a pickaxe not everyone has you could also potentially say that some of these save the world pickaxes are rare because save the world skins aren't exactly that sweaty and not everyone buys them plus these packs are only available for a limited time some are definitely more rare than others powerhouse is definitely the rarest save the world pack 
But the thing is, this one never actually came with a pickaxe. It was only a bat bling, the skin, and of course, the save the world weapon. And the samurai scrapper is also a rare pack that didn't come with a pickaxe. Next up, we have the Sunfall Scythe from Chapter 4, Season 2. This was actually a Japan V-Book Code exclusive pickaxe. So it's probably one you don't see very often. Although apparently it can come to the item shop. So I don't know. Maybe it's going to return in the future. But for now, it's very rare. And I also find the throwback axe pretty interesting. Now, we all know in Chapter 2, Fortnite released this for free. But of course, only for a limited time. So anyone who started playing Fortnite in Chapter 4, 5, or Chapter 3, they don't own this pickaxe. In total, it's not been out for over 1,100 days. Of course, it's not that rare, but it's great to have in the locker. It's so iconic, and it's even in this loading screen that we all know and love. Next up, we actually have a Fortnite Crew Legacy Pickaxe, which is called the Photonic Legacy Set. This pickaxe has a total of six different stages, and to unlock the final stage, of course, you need to be a crew member for six months in a row. But this one, you can pretty much edit any color you want. You can make it a dual wield pickaxe, or just a singular one as well. Now, again, this is not something that's crazy rare, but it's definitely interesting because you have to be a part of the crew for six months and not everybody does that. And talking about the Fortnite crew, we have the Masterwork Pickaxe from Chapter 4, Season 1. This is exclusive for crew members and it was quite a big deal when it released. I mean, Fortnite even made their own trailer just for this pickaxe alone. And I also feel like Chapter 4 was definitely not as popular as some other chapters. So if there's less players playing, does that mean less people own the pickaxe so you might want to check if you have it now you've probably noticed so far there's been zero item shop pickaxes in this video and perhaps you're wondering ash where's the widow's bite it's not been out for over a thousand days what about the rock breaker what about travis scott's pickaxe and the leviathan axe well although some of these are definitely considered rare and actually perhaps some of the rarest pickaxes in the game you have to remember any item shop pickaxe that isn't limited time can make a return and talking about limited time, we have a couple of refer a friend and reboot a friend rewards. The first one is the plasma carrot. And this is quite underestimated how rare it is. I tried to get all the pickaxes I can. And even I missed out on this one because I just couldn't find anyone to do the challenges with. So I'm sure other people had that same problem as well. But it's really clean though. And fun fact, it's actually the pickaxe that belongs with the unreleased Gemini skin. Then we have the rainbow racers pickaxe drive shaft, which was available in chapter two to season six another pickaxe not everyone managed to get because you had to sign up for a website with a friend in order to get the skin and the pickaxe and it was only available for a limited time so not everyone has this there is also limited time fncs pickaxes like this one right here from chapter three season four the eyes of victory from chapter four the mace ball bat and also the star jet now, although right now these aren't the rarest things you'll find, they will literally never return. I mean, in the item shop, it's stated limited time. So eventually, they all won't be in the item shop for over 1,000 days. So they're going to become rare in the future, as some of the people who got them might stop playing, and new players won't be able to get them. But they're definitely good to have in the collection. I'm glad to have all four. There is also the QWERTY Axe, which was a part of challenges in Chapter 2, Season 7. This definitely has some rare behind it because chapter 2 season 7 definitely wasn't one of the most popular seasons ever plus the challenges weren't that easy and they was time consuming then there's the velocity axe and to get this you actually had to play fortnite using amazon luna which is like a cloud gaming service it was free for a lot of amazon prime users so many people did get it but it's still a cool unique pickaxe to have in the collection and it may never return so comment down below how many you owned thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe if you have already and i'll see you in the next one